Gavin has autism and he also has speech apraxia. Basically what that means is that he doesn't form language like you and I form language. It all really comes down to his motor planning and how he uses his tongue to say words. Just like you and I, when we were growing up, when we were taught to sit Indian style, we just sat Indian style. Whereas for Gavin, he literally had to be shown how to move this one leg down, then the next leg down, because his brain doesn't work that, that way to, to plan that out. And that's how it affects his speech as well. So he doesn't move his tongue naturally to make different sounds. So that's what we're working on at home and at Easter Seals with Jessica and Jamie to develop that speech language. And then Vivian, who is now three and a half, uh, also participated in early intervention. Uh, when she turned three, uh, it was just a natural fit to get Vivian involved in Easter Seals as well to help develop her speech. Gavin's also participating in gymnastics. You know, one of his strengths is his ability to be surrounded with other children and wanting to participate and be social. So at the recommendation of his preschool teacher, actually, uh, Miss Katie, we started pursuing gymnastics. I will say that Gavin can be pretty fearless. This was a skill that he developed. He was the kiddo that wouldn't even climb the sl slide originally at the park and had to be taught that skill through the OTs that worked with him initially. But now that he's overcome that, he really loves to participate. He loves to jump around. He loves trampolines. His favorite place to be is at Sky Zone. So we thought it was a natural fit to develop some more of those skills by participating in gymnastics. His uncle also bought him a go-kart and he thoroughly enjoys that and, and riding uh, all over. And I really attribute that to uh, the work that Laura has done with him in OT and really developing his skills on riding a bike. And, and we definitely participate in doing that on the weekends too. Hello. Mommy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's right. Bye. Bye. Mama. Mommy. Mommy. All right. Good Yay. job. Awesome. Yeah. What color is Vivian's shirt? White. White and what's the other stripe? White. White and black. Very good. Awesome. What color is Daddy's shirt? Salmon. I just red. That's yeah, right. Good, good job, job, buddy. My children, I hope that they continue to build their skills in, in speech and communication and uh, OT. Uh, I, I hope that they continue to thrive. Uh, they're thriving today and I see so much growth every single year that I look forward to how much they grow in the future years and I hope to continue down this path. The, the advice I would share with other families that also have special needs children is to do your research, ask questions, reach out to your community, reach out to friends. We've been so blessed to have a, a team of folks that are super knowledgeable and willing to share. All I had to do really was just ask the first question. Really, it's about not stopping. You know, just because you get the diagnosis, it's not a life sentence. There is another side to it. Children do develop, they do grow. I have two thriving children that are growing and learning that just happen to have autism and a speech disability. But, but that doesn't really hold them back from, from what we're trying to do every day. Vivian in three words rules the house <laughs> would be the statement I would use to describe Vivian. Super outgoing, fun, happy. Gavin in three words, easygoing, chill, and happy. Just a happy, fun kid. One thing to know about Gavin is he lights up the room. Everyone that comes into contact with Gavin uh, instantly falls in love. You know, his smile, his charm and charisma. Everyone wants to be around Gavin because he's just such a positive, outgoing little boy. It's, it's contagious. You know, even in my worst days, he definitely turns it around for me and, and really just has it be a, a really fantastic day. 